Hello, I'm Andrew Kaunitz, Professor and Associate Chair in the OBGYN Department, University of Florida College of Medicine in Jacksonville. Today I'd like to discuss antibiotics and oral contraceptive failures. Since oral contraceptives, or OC, first became available, there have been concerns that antibiotics might interfere with their efficacy. However, a review of studies examining pharmacokinetic outcomes and suppression of ovulation written by Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC authors, concludes that common non-enzyme inducing antibiotics do not impair the efficacy of OC. In a recent report published in BMJ, evidence-based medicine, which has received media attention, investigators reviewed thousands of spontaneous reports of suspected adverse drug reactions, or ADRs, submitted to Britain's regulatory authority. These ADRs referred to unintended pregnancy while taking medications in one of three categories commonly used non-enzyme inducing antibiotics, including ampicillin, cephalosporins, tetracyclines, and metronidazole, hepatic enzyme inducing medications known to interact with some hormonal contraceptives, including carbamazepine, nevirapine, and rifampin, and control medications, including citalopram, ibuprofen, and zolpidem, commonly used by reproductive age women and not known to impact efficacy of hormonal contraceptives. ADRs involving control medications included nine pregnancies reported per 100,000 ADRs. This rate was 62 and 119 respectively for ADRs involving non-enzyme inducing antibiotics and enzyme-inducing medications. The authors indicate that the seven-fold higher rate of reported unintended pregnancies with antibiotics constitute a signal of possible drug-drug interaction. Keep in mind, though, that this analysis is entirely based on spontaneous reporting of adverse events. As the authors acknowledge, such passive reporting likely reflects clinicians' biases. For instance, if clinicians suspect that antibiotics may cause OC failure, they may be more likely to submit a report when a pregnancy occurs in an antibiotic user compared with a woman using one of the control medications. The key cause of unintended pregnancy among women using short-acting hormonal contraception, including OCs, is inconsistent use. An observation which underscores the importance of intrauterine, implantable, and injectable contraception. In my practice, I'll continue to follow guidance from the CDC, which states that antibiotics other than rifampin do not attenuate the efficacy of contraceptive pills, patches, or rings. In women chronically using known enzyme-inducing medications, IUDs and depomedroxyprogesterone acetate represent sound choices. Thank you for the honor of your time. I'm Andrew Kaunitz.